So yeah, January 2024. January is always a, a weird month to me. Maybe because it's cold and gray here in Brooklyn, coming off the high of the holidays or low of the holidays, depending on who you are, where your who your family is. I guess it's basically the back to reality month that uh, most of us tend to dread. I think just going back to work after the holidays especially if you're going to the office five days a week, which I am now, is kind of a shock to the system. And especially being an accountant where tax season is basically started already at this point as I'm recording this video. Still, I made time for photography during the month of January because I needed to keep myself sane somehow. A um, couple of things that happened were, one, I, I came into a little bit of money during the holidays, and so I used it to increase my photography library. I bought books by Alex Webb, Evelyn Hoffer, Harry Griart, and this MoMA catalog of uh, women photographers. You know, I just think that you have to study great photographers in order to become even something approaching a good photographer. Um, the Evelyn Hoffer book was interesting to me because I saw the exhibit that that catalog was based on uh, in Atlanta last year. So, you know, someone who really probably wasn't recognized very well in their time despite being so prolific. Whenever I see an exhibition, see a catalog from that exhibition that I really enjoyed, it, it's almost a no-brainer for me to purchase the catalog. The other momentous thing that happened for me was I received from my wife, as a Christmas gift, this 28 millimeter Canon RF lens. And I've used it quite a bit during the month of January, and I am absolutely in love with this lens. Now, let me just caution you, this is not meant to be a gear channel i don't want to go into specs or you know testing or review gear but gear is still necessary because it helps you create the photos you want to create and i was curious about this lens i wanted to try something a little wider than a 50 millimeter but not as wide as the 16 millimeter that i have which kind of is um, wide to the point of distortion almost and this lens is really the sweet spot i think i don't know if it's going to supplant the 50 millimeter as my favorite but it's in the running for sure i was able to make time during the month to go to greenwood cemetery with some friends of mine on a photo walk doing photo walks is probably one of the best things you can do to really hone your skills as a photographer just Having a community of people who practice photography, who like to talk about photography, is really something that sustains me, I think. And I think it should sustain any photographer. And I hope I'm not speaking out of school when I say that the photography community in person is always going to be superior to that online. Because having just having the connection with people, just seeing how other photographers work and operate is so valuable to your skills, to developing who you are and what your style will be as a photographer. So with that in mind, I will shut up now and I will present to you some of my favorite photographs that I took during the month of January. 
as always, if you like these videos, please leave a like below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, and drop a comment below if you find any photographs that I show you you like, or if you have any other thoughts, you just want to reach out and say hi. I'm always available, at least on YouTube, at least on the comments. <laughs> so without further ado, here are my favorite photographs of January 2024. <laughs> Most of my time